a lot of people i think misunderstand figma they know about it but they don't really use it or fully like get what what the purpose is and how powerful it is if you're a developer i consider it almost an essential skill regardless of front end back end whatever if you're like serious back end never touch any graphic design okay i get that but so the thing is a lot of people they kind of use it and think it's used for like website mock-ups and wireframes and stuff but if you're making wireframes for your website that's gay and i don't mean that in like a pejorative like there's nothing wrong with it you're just you like men if you do that what i do use figma for is designing my own icons doing any kind of art i lay out all my thumbnails for it i want like Ideally, if you're a pro at Figma, right, go to the comments and drop your favorite shortcuts because I'm still trying to get like a workflow similar to Vim. I know some of the Figma shortcuts, but here they are. So I have a file open, right? And the default mode is you can grab items and move them around. Control Z to snap them back, but you can switch to H with hand with H, which lets you like pan around. And then there's a bunch of other things like you can scale stuff. Um, and you have like a bunch of primitive shapes. You have like C for, I mean O for circles, so you can like drag, create a circle like that, and I can change the color, boom. Or R can create rectangles, stuff like that. You can copy and paste, duplicate things, change tons of properties. It's like Adobe Illustrator, but on steroids. Actually, it's less, it's actually, yeah, it's, it's not, it's not like Adobe Illustrator. It's a little worse in terms of features, but it's free. So, yeah. You can see some art I've made with this. I also lay out all my videos with it. It's just a very powerful kind of, I don't know, any kind of editing tool. If you make any kind of games also, you can export everything as like vector graphics. I have like tons of little icons saved here. And it's just super nice and convenient. You can convert files with it. I mean, ideally you should use FFmpeg, but yeah, it's just a great tool all around for all kinds of things. Here's a couple more shortcuts also. Um, so let's say we want to add some like little screws to the edge here. I'm gonna turn on the grid. I think Command G shows that, no. See, so yeah, I'm not that much of a Figma Pro. Let's create a little three by three, make that black. And then if you copy something like that, then you can use Command D to duplicate the spacing. So that's kind of nice. You can export everything as vector graphics too, so you can like export individual things, change this type to SVG, and then I can throw something away. And you can see like, I've designed a bunch of gears and stuff, kind of using that in, um, uh, that's an embarrassing page to have open. So if I open up localhost, you can see I've rendered all these SVGs, looks kind of cool. That's one thing you can do with it. But yeah, just as like a little image icon creator, it's just a fantastic tool. Any kind of graphic design, any kind of buttons, if you're making a game, any kind of UI, hugely, hugely useful. So that's pretty much it. That's all I really wanted to talk about, just raise awareness of it for developers. Uh, I guess another thing that's interesting is Figma is actually IPOing at the end of the month, so you can buy their stock officially now. I'm dropping a bunch of money on that because I personally believe heavily in them, and I know a lot of people at the companies I work at also are dropping a bunch of money, but yeah, I'd be curious to hear people in the comments, their thoughts on the Figma IPO. Is it worth it? Yeah, and also drop your favorite keyboard shortcuts in Figma, please. If you're an expert, I really need that.